If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 5, episode 4, we are going to see about how we can execute a simple load test in CLI mode in Jmeter. Load testing helps you to study the application behavior under the defined load. Before you start load testing, you should aware of your volume and what scenario you are going to test. Assume that you have everything ready and if you want to start the load test in Jmeter, do not use the GUI mode. It is always best practice to leverage the CLI mode in Jmeter. CLI stands for command line interface. So this is the simple command you have to issue in the command prompt to execute the script. Here Jmeter is the root command, hyphen n stands for the non-GUI mode and hyphen t you have to mention the test file and hyphen l where you have to mention the log file. Whenever you launch the jmeter.bat file, you will see this information in the command prompt. In case if you are in Mac or other operating system like Ubuntu, then you have to execute jmeter.sh. So here they clearly mention don't use GUI mode for load testing, only for test creation and test debugging. And you will see a simple command jmeter t n l and also e and o, where you will be able to generate the report once the test is completed. And also you can modify the environment variable like heap memory. If you want to increase to 2 GB or 4 GB, you can do that. And you can go to this website, uh, user manual slash best practices.html in apache.org page. You'll be able to see all the best practices. So there will be a video. I will be going through the best practices and the tips and tricks in Jmeter. So once you start with your testing in the CLI mode, it will automatically create the summarizer and it will create a basically a XML tree and then it will start executing your uh, script. So here you can see the timestamp, the time when it starts and also you can see the step by step increase in the thread group threads and for each change in the threads you will be able to see the average, minimum, maximum and error percentage. Once the execution is completed you will be seeing tidying up information and it will just end the test. Once the test is done, you can go to the bin folder and you can open the run1.jtl here in this case and you can see the detailed results in Jmeter. Now let us see a quick demo how we can execute a simple load test in Jmeter. So this is our simple Jmeter test plan which we executed in the last video. The same test plan we are going to execute in the CLI mode. Just go to your command prompt and navigate to the bin folder and to see all the commands available in jmeter you can use jmeter space hyphen question mark so this will list out all the possible commands you can use in jmeter but to execute your script you can use hyphen n hyphen t and your test file name similarly if you want to log the information you can use hyphen l if you want to generate the output you can use hyphen e and hyphen o but if you want to execute remote and if you want to mention the scheme, so everything we are going to see eventually. But now let us execute uh, this simple test using hyphen n hyphen t and I'm going to uh, enter the name of my uh, test plan and hyphen l my run one dot jtl. So once you hit enter, it will automatically create the tree and it will start executing and for each step you can see the output. So in this case it is set to start. I'll give it a couple of uh, seconds. So now as you see it is waiting for possible uh, shutdown or stop test now command. So it, by default it uses 4445. This is the port uh, where Jmeter will execute. And you can remotely stop, start or you can take the heap dump or thread dump. So these shutdown or stop test now is available in the bin folder. If you go to bin folder and if you go to the uh, remote start or uh, st stop or shutdown dot command. So these commands will help you to stop 
and shut down the uh, jmeter test so some in case if your jmeter test is uh, failing then if you want to stop you can issue these commands so right now our test is going fine give it uh, two minutes then we can view the my run one dot jtl in jmeter now the execution has been completed to view the results you can go to jmeter and uh, you can add the uh, listener any type of listener so in this case i am going to add a listener uh, say summary report and to view the results you have to just map it just click on the browse button here and select the my run one dot jtl so now if you, if you open this jtl file you could see the tutorial application bind mounts and multi container so whatever transactions we have it in the simple controller we can see the details with the number of samples average response time minimum response time maximum response time etc similarly you can plot any kind of uh, listener here so now let us go to uh, connect times over time so this is the third party plugin so here let us uh, add the same my run one dot jtl and here you can see the graphical representation of the uh, transactions so likewise you can open any listener uh, any valid element and you can just open the my run one dot jdl so this is how you see the results in next video we are going to see how to generate html dashboard after your test execution is completed so thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel